Hi, I'm James Martin and welcome to Ocean Village and my bistro. What's great about having a restaurant on board a cruise ship is that you can utilise the best of what each area and each port you visit has to offer. And as well as training the chefs, I actually spend time cooking in the galley, cooking on both of the ships, and it's great to meet and greet the passengers while they're dining to talk about their experiences with food. Now I've created loads of different dishes for the bistro, but here's a little taster of what you can expect if you join us on board. Well here we are in the port of Piraeus, which is about half an hour from Athens. Now what I thought I'd show you is a cheesecake, a nice simple little dish, the one that we do in the bistro as well, very straightforward. But this dish is actually quite relevant for this area because they actually served cheesecakes way back in the first Olympic Games. I bet you it didn't taste like this though. Really simple. What we've got in here, we've got some cream cheese, any full fat proper cream cheese, a bit of creme fraiche, double cream, some fresh strawberries, a bit of sugar to sweeten it up, and then some bourbon vanilla, which is this stuff, Madagascan vanilla pods, fantastic. When you buy it, make sure you twist it so they stay nice and soft. Then we've got some balsamic vinegar, and then ginger cake, which we bake, and then what I've done is just dry it out in the oven. You can get away with using a little bit of digestives if you want, but dry it out in the oven so it creates a lovely crumb. Very simple, first of all. We take our cream cheese, full fat cream cheese, that's gonna go in, some creme fraiche, Equal quantities of each, really. Give this a quick mix. Then we sweeten it with a bit of sugar. Just a touch. Go in. I quite like the mixture of the sweetness and the sourness of the berries. So we give it a quick mix. If you need to slacken it, you've got some double cream. I just add a touch. Not too much. And then we're going to flavour that with some vanilla. Now I mentioned the fact that it's bourbon vanilla, which is this stuff. It's much juicier, fatter pods, but we take the seeds, split them, and use the seeds out of here. Now keep the pods as well. If you put this in with some sugar, caster sugar, in a pot, give it a quick mix, it creates vanilla sugar, which is superb. You often buy that from delicatessence and stuff like that. So simple to make. Right, next up, we can place it into a metal ring. Just grab one of these metal rings, place it inside, so it's nice and compact. Then all we do, grab our ginger cake, which we've got here, and then blitz it. Now this has been dried out in just the oven overnight. So we make the ginger cake, just dry it out in a low oven, so it creates a lovely crumb. If you didn't want to do this, you could just use a little bit of digestives, but the flavor tastes so much better with a bit of this. Give it a quick blitz. Nice, simple little crumb. Make sure it's nice and fine as well, that's what we're looking for. Lovely crumb there. Now unlike a conventional cheesecake where you've got the crumb on the bottom, this one we're going to put on the top. Give it another quick clean. Ideally, if you're doing this at home, let it set in the fridge for a while. That's that. Next, we can then take our fresh strawberries. So I'm just going to hold these cut them into slices. Just straight through. Decent sized slices as well, that's what you want for these. Hot pan on here, in we go with the balsamic. Good balsamic vinegar, sugar. In we go with the berries. Give them a quick mix. Off the heat, no more than that, otherwise they're going to go to a puree. We can take our berries now. Place these around the edge. That's the secret of this, just show them the heat. Too much and they're going to go to mush, so we just want to just gently warm them up. So you go all the way around. These taste fantastic. And then one more. Decent amount on. And then what you can do is just to lift the ring off, get yourself a blowtorch. Around the edge of the ring. Just loosens up the cream. And then we can take some mint, strawberry, 
place that on there, spring them in, lift off the metal ring. Cheesecake. Just to finish this off now, back over here, we've got our sugar. Very straightforward. Take your pan of sugar. This is just caster sugar. That's all it is. Just heat it up. And you want to make sure it's the right texture. What we're going to do, we're just going to spin it around our steel. Lift that off. Carefully pull it off. Like that. So there we have it, a vanilla and ginger cheesecake. Why don't you try it at home? You know the recipe now. Or better still, join me on board when I'll be cooking for you personally in the bistro. And you don't have to do the washing up. <laughs>